Hey guys, it's the Crafty Prepper. Um, I'm just going to show you how to crochet a dishcloth with cotton yarn. And I did this little section already and then erased it, so I'm doing it over again. This is um, a cotton dishcloth pattern I found online, but I've modified it a little bit, so I've decided that makes it okay for me to share. But this is a good size right here. It makes a good, you know for scrubbing a good handful and it cleans dishes uh, really really good. If you ask anybody who's used a cotton dish rag and they'll tell you they're way better than a sponge or anything else. Um, <clears throat> and they're also good to keep on hand like I just folded three of them and tied them up and I was I was trying to sell some at a little craft fair. Well I did sell quite a few bundles with my sister and dad and Anyway, so it's good to keep some on hand and maybe a jar, a bottle of um, uh, dish soap to give away for a gift if you have, you know, a friend with a birthday or something or a housewarming. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, first of all, you got to make start with a slip knot. So you start with the free end. This is how I do a slip knot. It may not be the best way, but it's how I do it. So. I wrap it around this finger two times and then I kind of hopscotch over two times can you see and then pull that up and then ta-da you have a slip knot okay so this is the proper way to hold a crochet hook so I, some people do it like this and that just makes my hand hurt anyway it's light and easy you got a lot of movement and this is the old school proper way <laughs> <laughs> that my mom taught me um, of holding tension with your yarn so you wrap it around your ring finger and then put your index finger under it and then you can hold your work like this and then you have this free space for doing your crochet and then this finger back here this one um, when you squeeze your fingers together and not even hard it keeps the tension and then you just kind of wiggle your finger like let's, show, let's see if I can do it like that <laughs> to um, draw up bring forth more yarn anyway so this crochet pattern for the dishcloth starts with um, chaining 40 and a chain is just you yarn over and pull through a loop I'll get it closer but it is blurry yarn over and pull through so, well, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry, and I can see the time ticking away on the camera. Anyway, so you do 40 chains, which is just yarn over and pull through a loop. And you don't count this loop on your hook. You just count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're at seven so far. So anyway, I'll do all 40 of them and come back and show you the next okay, step. So okay. we chain of 40. And for this pattern... <laughs> You do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four. A double crochet is yarn over. Push through the... I can't look at it this way. <laughs> okay. Yarn over and pull up a loop. So then you have three loops. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn... Uh, I'm trying to look through the camera. That's why I can't do it. And then chain two. And then a single crochet in the same hole. So you don't yarn over for this one, you just push it through, yarn over, draw up a loop, then you have two, yarn over and pull through two. And then, so we're going in the fourth one again, so let's count, one, two, three, four, a double crochet is a yarn over, go through the top loop, yarn over and draw up a loop, so you have three, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then we chain two, and we single crochet in the same loop of the chain, and then you just repeat that all the way back across to the end, and then I'll show okay. you what to do. So we finished the row, and at the very end, we went in that last loop of the chain, actually the first chain we made off of the end. Anyhow, so at the end of the row, you chain two. And then you flip it over. 
return, I guess is the right way to say it. And then on this row, um, we work in, in the two chains we made at the top of each little cluster. So you do a double crochet, like we did on the first row. I can't see what I'm doing. And chain two. And just single crochet all in that chain two loop from before. So now the next row will be working in the chain two loop up there. So the next one is here. So that's the whole pattern. You just uh, double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same loop. Uh, you go all the way to the end and you'll chain two and flip it over and just do the same thing over again. And um, <clears throat> I just go until the enough rows until it's square. Let me see. Hold on. Like I just go until I can flip the corner up and it's even so I'm just, I know it's square. However many rows that turns out to be. Anyway, that's an easy, easy dishcloth. And um, it could come in handy, you know, sometime if you have your own um, animals that you can shear and spin your own yarn. I know this is cotton, so it would be a little different than like wool, but if you knew how to do it with cotton, that would be really awesome. And the reason you use cotton yarn is because... Um, it takes the water, the washing and the drying, it takes it a lot better than uh, like regular yarn like this is made out of the, I don't know what this is, synthetic? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so I hope you try it. If you have any questions, I'm going to put the pattern, um, you know, kind of spelled out down in the, you know, the comment section. Anyway, crocheting is easy and fun. I taught all the girls at work how to crochet with using this pattern because a dishcloth is something small and easy to achieve and you feel like you really accomplished something and um, I mean I've taught a lot of them so you should try it. Alright guys take care.